Assalamu alaikum and a lovely good morning again. We are all in front of each other. Alhamdulillah with all the good health and enjoying the wonderful, amazing day. I hope you're all enjoying because it's a beautiful, cloudy day and um, that feels very nice when it's cloudy, but that's, it's all good if it's sunny as well, because we need the sunshine as well. That is even very important for us, for the plants, for the trees, for the environment, everything. Sun is also very, 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 very important because that's the main source of the earth. Remember? Yes. Okay. So earth has uh, so many features. Right, so it has got uh, different shapes. It has got different colors. It has got uh, different things um, which we see. And uh, when we travel, we used to see that there are like different shapes on Earth. Sometimes there are like only trees. Sometimes there are only um, uh, ground that land then sometimes there are mountains and all so this is so amazing right uh, so um this is called basically landforms right because the land forms through like years and years it forms different kind of shapes uh, different kind of even colors different types of cracks and different different things so landform is a natural feature on the earth's surface which we see when we are traveling when we go somewhere um, we experience and see so many things over there so that's a natural feature which creates on earth's surface for the passage of time um, um, with uh, some accidents happen, maybe some changes happen in the earth. Some places on the earth are flat or they have only like um, uh, straight land on which we can even uh, grow cotton, we can even grow wheat and rice and uh, um, uh, sugar cane. Like, so we can use that land for agriculture and easily like uh, we use that land. We can use that land for like many things. We can use that even for um, uh, make cities and to construct houses as well. So uh, there are some places uh, who have like um, hills some places have got low hills, some places have like high hills that are called mountains. They're like huge, big, big um, rocks, which are called mountains. So um, still others might be called a, a plain, uh, which is a large flat area with even like have few trees, maybe some more trees. So that is also called a flat area. Uh, that is called plain. So some people live on highlands. It is land that has low mountains or hills so that people can easily make houses on them and grow something and live easily over uh, there. So they're like uh, highlands uh, called highland, but they have low mountains, uh, which we can call hills low mountains or hills. And some people, uh, some land has a river running through it. Um, and other places, um, uh, uh, another place to live is uh, even coast, right on the edge of the large body of the water, like sea, which we call sea, which we call ocean. There are like uh, places, um, they also uh, landforms where people live. So the as I tell you, as I told you that landform is a natural feature on the Earth's surface, and this is not made by humans, right? So these landforms are not made by humans, so they are called landforms. So they have like uh, mountains, they have caves, they have islands, uh, they have plains, and they have rivers. So they're like different kind of. Uh, um, landforms which we usually see and observe okay so i'm just going to uh, show you a picture in which we are going to see uh, the different types of landforms right and then we will learn a little more about that in the next class so i'm just going to show you now look at this right now these are the landforms which are formed naturally right they are not man-made they are formed naturally now if you look at this this is a volcano right now you can see 
This is a volcano. This is also a landform. And volcanoes uh, erupt sometimes. Some are uh, not dangerous. Some are very, very dangerous. Um, uh, we don't have any volcano in Pakistan, but there are many in different countries and which can create disasters at times. Uh, but this is the natural form and these volcanoes uh, when the lava comes out this makes different shapes of the um, on the face of earth which makes different shapes <clears throat> different hills different kind of earth um, features on that right then we have got hills they are like mountains they're low mountains and they are called hills because they're not very high people can live over there they can have a living over here even animals live over here uh, so these are called hills then we have got this um, uh, if you have a look at this this is an island Right. If you have a look at this island, there's a land here we can see, and there is water outside. Right. So we are going to learn about this in our next class. So this is also a feature on uh, uh, Earth's surface. This is not man-made. This is natural. And now look at this. <laughs> this is a cannon. This is a low river. These are the mountains, and there is a river over here and uh, river Amazon uh, is uh, uh, like that and you can even search canyons and you can see they are in America you can see them beautifully rivers and uh, they're um, in between uh, mountains there is a river and then there are different forms like jungles jungles are mostly on the plain they are on mountains as well and on the plain areas so jungle is also a form of uh, uh, land and then we've got like rivers right they make their own space they can go and then it joins the sea here right they end up in the ocean the rivers they just go go and join the oceans right yes because they come from the mountains down down downwards they come downwards and they join the oceans then we've got deserts this is also a landform on earth it has got different features it's got different feeling different temperature different animals different thing every landform has different temperature different animals different kind of environment over there okay now then we have over here if we see uh yeah there are mountains now mountains are very huge rocks they're very very high so uh and there are like um very less animals which live on the mountains but yes there are um some animals that live on the mountains as well so mountains are very very high and solid rocks and sometimes they even shake um, and um, yeah, they have like um snow uh, covered mountains as well uh, there are um, uh, rocky mountains as well there are green mountains as well so there are different kind of uh, mountains then there are marshes like ponds with uh, plants and all they are also landform then there are waterfalls now these waterfalls makes the rivers and then the rivers join the oceans and this is how everything works right so waterfall is also um, the form of a land which is created naturally and then the plains the lands which are like totally flat and um, it, mostly the most cities are on the plains on the uh, plain ground because it's easy to construct on that uh, but yes there are like houses on the uh, mountains as well near the coastline as well so people live in different uh, different areas on the different land from uh, people living on islands as well people live near lakes as well lake is also the one form of island so these are the different uh, forms of island uh, different forms of land which we experience so uh, these landforms we are going to discuss, which you have seen over here, we are going to uh, discuss uh, them in our um, later on classes, that what are these and um, 
how uh, they are formed and uh, what is an island, what is a lake, why the mountains and the hills are different. So we are going to discuss that in our classes later on. But these are the landforms. You can even like search and take the pictures of landforms and see what different landforms are there. And remember that landforms are not man-made. They are all natural. Land, uh, landforms are not made by humans. They form naturally when volcanoes erupt or when there is an earthquake or when um, uh, there are like different changes on earth, these landform forms after that, right? So this was our science class in which we have learned about landforms. And you're going to learn uh, more about these landforms, which we're going to discuss again. So I'm going to say goodbye from this class, but I'm going to give you a little reminder of not uh, forgetting your hands, washing your hands often and uh, wearing the mask because um, it's, um, again, um, we have to keep ourselves away from the virus. You have to keep ourselves uh, safe and you have to keep others even safe. So you have to follow all these SAPs um, to remain healthy and happy. And uh, why? Because we have to enjoy this Ramadan with all our health and happiness, right? So I hope you have enjoyed this uh, lecture of landforms. We are going to learn a little more about that in the next class. So I'm going to say you goodbye from this class. I'm going to see you soon, inshallah. Till then, stay safe, be happy, and be grateful. So uh, we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye-bye, and Allah Hafiz.